the ovary is a fascinating organ. It houses the gametes that when fertilized, they will give rise to a new individual. المرأة العربية عامة دايما بتراعي اولادها بيتها محتاج ايه ما بتدورش ابدا على صحتها بالعكس بتفضل اخر واحد اخر واحد في البيت بيدور على نفسه مع ان الست هي اساس البيت ممكن يكون في معروف اكتر هو سرطان الثدي لان الوعي عنه اكتر بس برضو سرطان المبيض مش مش معروف بالقدر الكافي Ovarian cancer is actually represented late. Early symptoms of ovarian cancer is unfortunately similar to the sample irritable bowel syndrome. Just indigestion, sample abdominal pain, some colics. Uh, the specific symptoms appear when the stages of the disease are late, like aggressive abdominal pain, bloating, and enlargement of the size of the abdomen. If the patient is lucky enough and is diagnosed early, the treatment is usually fruitful and the survival rate of the patient is as high as 80-90%. I have a long-standing uh, experience and interest in the ovarian development. I have spent the last uh, 10 years before joining at, uh, AUC in the States examining the the, the genetics of the ovarian development and function. While uh, researching the cancer, I've realized that the ovarian cancer is a very nasty disease. It's detected very late, and the majority of women will not survive, at least for the five years. There's only about 44%, as opposed to breast cancer, which is 80, 89%. The ovary is an intra-abdominal organ. It's present among all the neighboring organs there. When it's advanced, it comes out of its capsule. So you can imagine that the spread is very easily. In the advanced stages, the treatment is totally radical. You remove the ovary, the other ovary, the uterus, the lymph nodes around all the tissue supporting the uterus. In the early stages, we have fertility-preserving surgery. We can just remove that ovary which is involved. So if you can pick it early, life will be very easy for the patient. Survival is very high. She can even become pregnant and then deliver and as nothing has happened before. But in advanced stages, it's absolutely catastrophic. Our research project on stopping ovarian cancer in its tracks is very important. It's the most deadly gynecological cancer and because of the fact that we don't have sensitive and specific detection method. The detection method that we are proposing is a very powerful strategy. It looks at the alteration in the levels of these small molecules that occur in reality before the manifestation of the disease and the symptoms of ovarian cancer which means we're going to be able to battle the ovarian cancer before it is manifested and before the patient is experiencing the harsh symptoms. To reach a reliable early detection method, we need to be able to detect blood markers indicating ovarian cancer via a simple blood collection. To specify those indicators, the method compares blood samples from healthy women with tissue samples from ovarian cancer patients. Any differences between the blood samples will be detected by looking closely at their respective microRNAs. If a person is developing a specific disease, such as cancer, the microRNA indicating this will appear as distinct from the microRNA markers of the other healthy, non-cancerous cells. These microRNAs can be found outside of the affected organ, as cells frequently spread through the larger blood vessels of our body and mix there with microRNAs from other organs. The early detection method compares the different appearances and levels of cancerous microRNAs and other diseases in the blood. A high level of a specific microRNA could indicate the presence of a particular disease such as ovarian cancer. The changes in the levels of circulating microRNA in the bloodstream occur in an early stage of the disease. Unlike the conventional diagnostic of ovarian cancer, which relies on samples of cancerous tissue. 
Our role as bioinformaticians in the ovarian cancer project is to start with collecting genetic data sets of different diseases from different body parts, looking for biomarkers that can serve as signatures for ovarian cancer. Those biomarkers eventually will be used in standard clinical tests for the early diagnosis of the disease. I have 12 people working in my lab, and the majority of them work on cancer-related research. This is good quality because I see so many... For the research to be meaningful, we would need uh, a certain number of early ovarian cancer patients, specimens, late uh, cancer patients, advanced cancer patient, patient specimens, and controls from healthy individuals. We can write it again. مش كل الناس بيبقوا هنا بالخاصة سيدات يعني في نفس عمري مش بيبقوا فاهمين مدى خطورته ومش بيبقوا فاهمين يتصرفوا ازاي فما فيش وعي كامل بسرطان المبيض هنا في مصر فانا حبيت ان انا اشترك في مشروع زي ده او في دراسة زي دي عشان اكون جزء من حملة وعية كبيرة اكتر حاجة شجعتني ان انا اعمل التهديد ده بصراحة لما عرفت انه في واحدة عزيزة علي او من قريباتي اكتشفت ان هي عندها المرض بقاله فترة وهي ما تعرفش ف والموضوع اتطور معاها و يعني ممكن 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 تخسر حياتها فانا مش عايزه اخسر حياتي وانا صغيره في السنه ده عايزه اكمل حياتي وابقى حياتي صحتي كويسه This test is uh, painless and fast and safe and clean um, and I would recommend that women do this. It is so much better to know early if you have even the, the slightest sign that you might develop ovarian cancer so that you can be watched, you can be monitored, and if something develops early on, it would be detected and you would continue to have um, a healthy and long life. There is always a dream for all uh, gynecologists who are working with uh, patients of ovarian cancer like any other malignancy, that you have a sample method which can point uh, out whether the patient is malignant or not. I am very pleased to have this opportunity to work on a women health related issue and I would like to see more researcher, women researchers and I would like them to voice out, empower all women in general. <laughs>